defensive coordinator Mike McDonald who's come over from the Baltimore Ravens of the NFL. They stick with the ground Richard Newton rips free and gets out to the 30 yard line for a pickup of 12. McNamara only threw the ball 11 times last week against Western Michigan is nine out of 11. They go to Hassan Haskins. He's going to be a focal point in the passing game. Haskins able to bounce it outside now shows that power and runs over some defenders for a Michigan first down. One of the main tasks when they're on offense is getting number 48 blocked. Corum spun down near the 29 yard line. Their only score of the season so far, second and 22. They set up a screen to Kate Otten. Yeah, terrific play by Otten. And then number 12, Josh Ross, is an outstanding blitzer from his linebacker position. Dylan Morris on third down, wanted to throw it deep, couldn't find anybody, and he's sacked. Taylor Upshaw and Aiden Hutchinson met at the quarterback. It's Washington's best offensive lineman, Jackson Kirkland. He did a pretty good job, but Hutchinson never gives up on a play. Plays with great motor, great intensity. Aiden McNamara handed it off. Hassan Haskins got free. Went into Husky territory and down to the UW 38-yard line. Little counter play. Excellent job by Zinter. He gets his block, and then Stuber, number 71, with a nice block on the out. Got a 76-yard touchdown catch in that game. Hassan Haskins spins forward. His career long is 48, 0 for 2, and his career from beyond 50 until now. That was blasted. With room to spare, with a nice breeze behind his back. But he didn't need any help from the breeze. This was a bomb. Pete Kwiatkowski went to Texas to serve in that role for Steve Sarkeesian. Haskins found room outside and went down two yards shy of midfield and the first down. He said, I want Jimmy Lake to be involved in calling the defense. It's a great defensive mind. And they weren't really ready, as you could tell, a little chaotic. And Hassan Haskins took advantage, carried across midfield for a Michigan first down. They can't afford to get too far behind in this ballgame, in this stadium. On third down and six, big hole, and Coram gives them first and goal as he goes down to the three-yard line. And win this marquee Big Ten Pac-12 matchup tonight, second and 14 for Washington. Third down and 15, one minute gone by. In the second quarter, beautiful throw by Morris, and it looks like they have the first down. Wow. 107,601. They expect to have more than that here tonight. Taj Davis catches the quick throw from Dylan Morris and goes out a yard short of the first down, shoved out by Vincent Craig. The Huge hole for Corum. Goodbye. The one play after the fake punt gets them the first down. Corum goes 67. Demolish their side of the line, and then the speed of Corum surprises the free safety. And Michigan answers with a touchdown. They won three SEC games last year. They had won one the previous three years before that. And playing well tonight against the Longhorns. And Washington finds some offense. Dylan Morris on target in the flat to Jack Westover was chopped down by DJ Turner is really a third cornerback first and ten eight and a half to go till halftime on target Morris to Devin Culp 10 nothing Michigan more than midway through the second quarter Morris wants to launch it deep and throws for Kate Otten who has it Play clock running down. Play clock's at one. Apparently they just got it off and they get stuffed and the ball came out. Richard Newton stopped by Aiden Hutchinson. 
And Michigan takes over on down. Short of the first down, he rips the ball out on the way to the ground. Michigan with an emphatic stop on fourth down. Four-man rush. They still pressure Morris. And Hutchinson takes him down. Watch him just run right through Jackson Kirkland. Again, that's an all-pac-12 offensive tackle. Now at the 47-yard line. 17-yard gain. They managed to get a play off. And they complete a pass, but it won't get to the end zone. Taj Davis out of bounds. Year in and year out there among the very best in not giving up plays of 40 or more. This is a big one. Hassan Haskins tackled in Washington territory at the 45 yard line. 20 yards. Big 10 didn't start playing games until November. Michigan went two and four. Here's Corum. Corum down the sideline. Almost took it to the house again. They're just, they're just running the counter. They're pulling the backside guard and tackle. The tight end got a good block out there. Schoonmaker again. into the pistol it's Corm running left great work by that offensive wow. line and a Michigan touchdown second of the night both scored by Blake Corum this one from seven yards out Trevor Keegan they start out together they both pick out a block and then Corum gets right behind him into the end zone they flip it on an end around to Giles Jackson the former Wolverine and he fights to the 10 yard line. A little creativity from the Husky offense for a 12 yard gain. He was looking in the direction of Otten, and now he's looking at the turf in the arms of Aiden Hutchinson again. Oh, it was Jalen Harrell that, that just was right with him, didn't leave him, and that enabled the Michigan pass rush to get to Dylan Morris. A 50-yarder last week that was wide right in Seattle. This is a 28-yarder. Just inside the left hash mark, and it's good. During the break, John said, I'm going to talk to my team tonight about taunting. Here's Haskins in the end zone for a Michigan touchdown. See it in real time. Todd's going to circle. You want to tell us anything about this play? <laughs> Break a tackle, man. That's good running right there. <laughs> that, that's what is good players make good plays. In the NFL, that's how long ago that was at the beautiful Michigan course right across the street. What a strike thrown by Dylan Morris to Giles Jackson. Yeah, that's the biggest play of the night for Washington. A 33-yard gain, their biggest play of the season. First down at the 26-yard line. It all starts with protection. They did a good. Locker did in 2007 as a redshirt freshman. Browning in 15 is a true freshman. Morris for the end zone, and it's caught. Terrell Bynum, the touchdown for Washington. True freshman, Rod Moore, number 19. He gets immediate separation, and Dylan Morris does a nice job getting with the football. Moore got beat right from the jump, and then couldn't get his head and eyes around in time before the ball was by him. Ball come from the opposite side. Michigan got the stop. And off to the races. Hassan Haskins. So the question is, can McNamara get that done? And then also, who can step up to take the place of Ronnie Bell? There's Carr with another touchdown. He got Wallop. Now he should be flagged. Across the formation, just outstanding blocking by those tight ends. Leading the Mets tonight, eight to seven. Dylan Morris, long throw, caught. Terrell Bynum beat the coverage of Jamon Green for a big game. Doesn't put his hands up to the last minute and then just reaches up with his left arm and snags it. Because of that, Green had no idea. 43 yeah. years at that same high school. Unbelievable. Right? And, and 50 years in coaching before he retired. And Morris is sacked. David Ajabu, the linebacker. He just fools Jackson Kirkland with that inside spin move. We said it earlier, Todd. I really believe it. There's a good vibe around this yes, Michigan team. Is. Really you is. Can feel it in their building yesterday and hear it in the voices of Jim Harbaugh, his assistants, and the players. 
And an 0 2 start for Jimmy Lake. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN.